Nobody wants a wild card, okay? It doesn't make any sense. We don't want a maniac in our group, but there's no benefit to it. Sorry, folks. It looks like you're stuck with me. Dang, it's hot up in this house. What is happening, YouTube? It is Wildcard EDC back with another one. And today, we got a very cool wallet to talk about. This is the Miscellaneous Goods, Miss Goods, uh, abbreviated of Miscellaneous Goods, however they pronounce it, wallet. This is the Slim Tuck Wallet. I got two to go over today. Um, this one, let me make sure I get this right, is in there, Golden Slim colorway and this one is their um, charcoal slim colorway this one is my favorite by far uh, but yeah we'll get into that and if you see me sweating it's because it is a hundred degrees in my house it's not supposed to be this hot up in Alaska but it is so miscellaneous goods is a Louisville based leather company they do a bunch of other stuff they seem super chill um, who makes these wallets and if you have this wallet or have ever heard of it it's probably because of Peter McKinnon he put everybody onto this a couple years ago with a what's in my pocket video um, that's actually why I bought it because I was looking for a minimalist wallet I love like the loyal Strickland I think this is the Johnny wallet super minimalist that's what i really like because um, i don't really carry that many cards with me and i don't do cash anymore and so one in a slim wallet ended up getting this got two variations of it and um they're cool let's get into it so here's the wallet up close when i first got this i wasn't in love with it i'm not gonna lie i really didn't i thought it was too minimalist i wasn't really sure about this stitching here and i was like this is not gonna be my favorite wallet but i kept using it and I usually rotate through wallets like really regularly, but I didn't want to do it with this one. It just, it worked. It was so easy to get in and out. And once you get your cards set the way you like them, you can just pull out one from the front or pull it out from the back super easy. If you need to get um, extra ones, yeah, you'll pull it out and root through them. And then, uh, yeah, I usually keep a 20 in there. So I keep eight cards, as you can see, in this wallet normally. Um, Here's my driver's license right here. But uh, you get what you need, you close it up, you move on with your day. This one used to it have like a, a suede or nubuck type of feel to it. I don't know if you can tell anymore because it's really smooth. It's kind of gotten a patina just through me like playing with it. But um, here under the flap is probably the most obvious. This is what it used to look like everywhere. And you can kind of like change the color of it a little bit or how it looks, you know, with your thumb, kind of like a, yeah, how you can with Nubuck. It was like this everywhere. And now it, it's not like that anymore. It's just, it's become very, very smooth through use, which is awesome. And um, yeah, if you're into minimalist wallets, it's hard to beat this. Again, I didn't think I was gonna like it until it kept like looking better and feeling better the more I used it. And once I got used to just how convenient it is to pull, you know, grab something, put it back in. Um, man, it's just, it, it was hard. I didn't want to use another wallet. This one is the most popular uh, colorway of this, if you will, I think. This is the one that like Peter McKinnon had and a bunch of other YouTube reviewers. You'll see this color, which I don't really love just because uh, it's kind of reddish and I usually don't like, like the chestnutty type of red tinted leather. It does age really cool because it gets darker and darker, but I really wish that they would release a wallet in like a natural um, color, something like this to where once it ages and kind of gets that natural brown look to it. Yeah, this one is, uh, it's a little more stiff also than this one was. This is kind of like softer leather and it always was, not even just because I've been using it more. It's just a lot softer and this one's kind of, um, yeah, it's harder to open, it was harder to break in. Still cool, I'm sure the more you use it, the easier it will get to use and the softer it'll all become, but it just wasn't quite as good of a wallet experience as this one was. So here is Miscellaneous Goods' main site. And this is really the best place to buy the wallet. I'm sure you could buy it on eBay and whatnot, but they're usually in stock here. And yeah, they have one version with a snap on it, 
and the version we have here is a slim tuck wallet. So this is one, this is carbon. This actually seems like a cool color. I kind of want to get this one next, but we got the charcoal slim, which is what I have. And it really looks, yeah, kind of like a saddle type leather. It's kind of rough. Like I said, you can mark it up very, very easily, but then it becomes a lot smoother once you use it. This is the Golden Slim. This is the most common version that they have, at least that I've seen people have, and not as big of a fan of this one. The Chestnut seems kind of cool. Might want to try that one also, but um, this one is by far my favorite. It's 68 bucks. So there you have it, y'all. The Miscellaneous Goods Slim Tuck Wallet. Is it a cop or is it a drop? I've really, really enjoyed this wallet a lot. This is my go-to. I'm gonna keep using this for a while, I think, until I find something else that I like more. But for now, I gotta go with this. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to review in the future. And as always, stay wild. Peace. What?